Good morning, thank you for joining us at Easy Cooking again. Today Natalie is going to help me make some French crepes. Um, it's a family favorite, we make it for our friends when we have guests over for the weekends and everyone really likes them. So let's get started, first let's see what we need. For today's crepes we need flour, eggs, sugar, salt, butter, milk and vanilla. Okay, I'm going to clean my workstation first and we're going to get right Daddy. to it. Uh, we're making savory and sweet crepes. Daddy, you can, Daddy. Hey baby, you can stuff them with anything your heart desires. I'm going to show you later what my family does with them. First, of course, we're going to start with the eggs. And because we are kind of sort of baking, um, I always start with whisking my eggs first. So we're going to do that for a couple of seconds. Make sure that they mix better of course i got the rainbow mix wick uh, whisk the other one is in the dishwasher after we do that for a few seconds we're going to put our milk we're going to mix this we're really kind of taking it one ingredient at a time we can put our salt and sugar in there. We can get our butter. Natalie, can I have this please? Thank you, baby. Okay, let's, not, let's not lose the whisk, the other one is dirty. We'll add our vanilla. I know, baby. Daddy's hungry too. We'll get going here in a second, don't worry. Daddy's gonna start them in just a few minutes. It's really easy to make crepes. A lot of people may not know that it only takes a few minutes. We're gonna add our flour gradually as we're whisking. You don't have to worry about over mixing because you can't over mix crepes. Hey honey. The mixture should be um, very thin, so whisk as much as you want to make sure there's no bubbles left. Some people will um, sift their dough, I think that's what you call it. Um, I don't, I don't care if I have the occasional little clump of dough, um, it's just less work this way and it doesn't change the flavor in any possible way, so you don't have to worry about it. Hey, Natalie. Say good job, Daddy. Now we're just gonna have to make sure this is mixed well. And then we can put it on the stove. Really, not a whole lot to it. Crepes are really easy to make. Daddy. And I have a lot of friends asking me how to make crepes, so I figured might as well show that. Hey, baby. Like that. You have poo or just flutter? Just flutter. I know. Daddy! Daddy! How does it look, Natalie? Do you think it's ready to cook? Yeah? Okay. So we'll get our whisk out of here. And if you want to follow me to... Oh, you know what? Before we do that, Natalie, come down, please. And then if you want to follow me to the stove, we're going to start cooking our crepes. I use a pan, just a general non-stick pan. Um, I'd normally use my flat top, but not everyone has one, so um, we'll use the pan today. You don't want the heat too high because it's gonna burn your crepes too fast. Okay, we're gonna let it heat for a second. Again, I'm on gas, it heats a lot faster than electric. And even though it's a non-stick pan, you always want to grease it up a little bit. It helps when you're making crepes, pancakes, any of those uh, things. Okay, we should be hot here any second. I use a general soup ladle to uh, scoop and it helps me uh, portion the mixture as well. Natalie, we're not ready yet, honey. Okay. This should be warm enough. So I scoop about a two-thirds full ladle. Again, it depends on the size of your scooper, but um, 
you don't want to make your grapes too thick or too thin. Too thin will break too easily, too thick will get kind of soggy and soft. The first one always takes a little longer to cook because we're still heating up the pan. So this one may not look like the rest of them. So I'll get through this one and then I'll show you another one as well. Just to kind of get through the process if you will. Okay. Our first grape is ready to be flipped. I like to use a larger spatula that way I can uh, grab a hold of the whole grape because they're thin they can break and you don't really want them to break as you're flipping them. It only takes a couple of seconds on the other side, maybe a minute. I like to do this when I'm cooking it. It helps to press the crepe down to the pan because once you flip it, it um, the heat really kind of starts pushing it up and it won't cook on the second side very well if you don't do this. And again, it only takes, yep, and we're good with that one. First crepe done. Can I, can I, see what I would do another one just to kind of show you what can the second one looks like. Sure, honey, let me put the second crepe in here and I'll show you what it looks like. So my pan actually may be a little too hot at this point, but we'll see. I turn it down a little bit if I need it. So when I pour my crepe mixture, I take my pan and I rotate it like this. If I don't have enough mixture, I'll yeah, pour a little see. more. That's really the easiest way. You don't need any tools to spread it. That's why I use a nonstick pan. I'll turn my heat down a little. The first one. Yep, here you go, baby. That one's big. I want that one to be mine. They're all gonna be big, but you can have the first one, no problem. Um, like I said, my paint got a little too hot. This one may be done pretty quick here. I want to just kind of show you another one and then I'll finish up behind the camera. There, yeah, so this is what it looks like if your paint is too hot. You, you definitely don't want this, you want the look of the first one. Um, so that's why I turned it down a little and I'll continue making them. Our crepes are ready, so we're gonna build a couple just so that you can see the process. Um, the first one I'm gonna make is gonna be a savory crepe. Well, my wife and I like to scramble up some eggs and you can really put whatever you want in your eggs. Sometimes we'll put green onions um, and other vegetables. We didn't happen to have green onions in the fridge today, so we just went with mushrooms. Then I'm gonna get some feta cheese. I like to crumble a little bit of feta cheese right inside my crepe here. I'll put a little more. It gives it a little zest. As you can imagine already from watching all my videos, I like feta cheese on almost everything that's not sweet. And to top it off, I put a little bit of Thousand Island dressing. Now some countries may not have Thousand Island dressing, may not know what that is. So you can really use any kind of savory dressing like hollandaise sauce or other sauces that will go well on this. Um, so this is pretty much my savory crepe. You wrap it once, you wrap it twice and you put it to the side. I'm going to make one that is sweet i will start with vanilla pudding my wife and i use no bake pudding it's really easy to make it takes just a few minutes it's milk and dry powder pudding basically instant jello pudding. instant jello pudding i guess yep um, then i'm gonna put some strawberry i'm gonna put some strawberries right inside I also like, actually I'm going to do that later, so I put some strawberries, I'm going to wrap it up, flip it over. I don't have whipped cream in a can, so I'm going to use Cool Whip from a tub. It's really whatever you have on hand. You can, you can really put whatever toppings you want, whatever fruits, whatever sweets, um, whatever your heart desires for a crepe. Uh, I'm going to put some more strawberries on top. Just for garnish, just because that's the way I am. Makes it look a little better. And to finish up, I'm gonna drizzle some chocolate. It's a little thick, we just melted it, but it's already thickening. So it's not gonna be like a drizzle the way I wanted it to be, but it's gonna taste the same. So no worries on that. 
All right. And our crepes are ready. I'm going to sit down and down. have some breakfast. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoy our recipe. And um, subscribe, like our videos, share with your family and friends. Feel free to put pictures when you make your delicious uh, food. Just kind of share with me. And I'll see you next time.